Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a Java program to find the factorial of a number entered by the user. The factorial of a positive integer, let's say n, which is denoted by this symbol and we call it as n factorial, is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. So n factorial is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 up to 1. So we will have 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. For example, uh, if we have the number let's say 4, then 4 factorial equal to 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. And if you look at this, then 4 factorial is actually equal to 4 multiplied by 3 factorial, where 3 factorial is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 equal to 1 and similarly we can break down this one and the next thing is 0 factorial is equal to 1 and uh, for negative numbers we can't calculate the factorial. So let's see how we can write the Java program for this one. Here I have uh, already written some code. I have created the package called as example program and then I have this class called as factorial and here I have this main method which is the entry point of our program. The first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to import the scanner class from the util package. So we will have java.util.scanner and we will use it for taking the input from the user. Now the first thing that we do here inside this main method is we will declare the variables that we are going to use in this program. The first variable that we need is for storing the number that will be entered by the user for which we will find the factorial and I'm going to call it as number. Now we need another variable for storing the factorial value that we are going to calculate. So I'm going to take long type and I'm going to call it as factorial and I will initialize this with a value of 1. Now the next thing that we do is we will create an object of this scanner class. So it will be scanner and I will call it as input equal to new scanner and here we need to pass in the input stream. So we will write system dot in. Now the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the number. So I'm going to use the system dot out dot print line method and I'm going to specify the message in here as enter the number. Now by looking at this message, the user is going to enter the number. We will read that using the input object. So it will be input dot next int method and uh, we will store the return value in our number variable. So we have the number for which we can find the factorial now. After that, in this program, we are not going to take any inputs. So we will close the scanner. So I'm going to use the input dot close method. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to check the number entered by the user. User can enter anything. He can enter a negative number. He can enter zero. He can enter one or a number greater than one. So first we will check whether the user has entered a number which is less than zero whether the user has entered a number which is a negative number. So the condition here will be number containing a value less than zero. In that case, we will display a message to the screen. And here I will say can't find the factorial of negative number. Now the next thing that we do is we will check whether the user has entered zero or one. So I will have a else if conditional statement. And here we will have the condition as number containing a value less than or equal to one. Now here the control will come to this else if part only if this first condition, this if condition fails. If this if condition fails in here, that means the user has entered a number zero or greater than zero. So here we are checking whether the number is less than or equal to one. And here it will check whether the number is zero or one. So in that case, I'm going to use the printf method, system.out.printf method. And I'm going to say that the factorial is one for the number zero and for the number one, the factorial for them are one. So we will display percentage D factorial is equal to percentage D. And then here we will uh, call the number 
and we will use the factorial so we're just displaying the factorial for 0 or 1 is equal to 1 now the next thing that we have to do is we have to check whether the user has entered a number greater than uh, 1 or not so in that case we will find the factorial so what we do is we will uh, we will multiply all the numbers from 1 to the number for example if the user is going to enter 4 then we will perform 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 actually we will skip that multiplication of 1 because that will not change anything so here we will use a for loop and uh, let's use a loop counter variable i'm going to call it as counter and i'm going to initialize this variable with a value of number you can write this program in many many ways and this is just one of that way and then the condition here will be counter variable containing a value greater than or equal to 2 and after that we will decrement the value of the counter variable so if the user is going to enter 4 then this counter will start from 4 and it will run up to 2 just need to provide the data type for this counter let's make it int so here we will write factorial equal to factorial multiplied by counter for every iteration the counter variable will contain different values and we are multiplying that with the value present in the factorial variable and we are storing it again in the factorial variable so what happens here is let's say the user is gonna enter the number as 4 now the number variable will contain 4 we have initialized this factorial variable with a value of 1 since the number is uh, greater than uh, uh, 1 these two conditions will fail we come to this else part and here this counter variable will be initialized with a value of 4 and our factorial variable is containing a value of 1 here you know we have initialized that one to 1 so this counter variable here will get the number variables value which is 4 and uh, the condition here this one will satisfy because because counter variable is containing a value greater than or equal to 2 4 is greater than or equal to 2 so we will go to this part and we will execute this statement so factorial is containing 1 and we will perform factorial multiplied by counter so it will be 4 and that 4 will be stored in this factorial variable so now the factorial variable will contain 4 after that this counter variables value will be decremented by 1 so now the counter variable will contain 3 and again this condition will satisfy and here we will perform the multiplication so we will multiply the value present in the factorial variable with the value present in the counter variable which will be 4 multiplied by 3 and we get 12 and that 12 will be stored in the factorial variable and after that the counter variables value will be decremented by 1 so it will become 2 and again the multiplication will happen this condition will satisfy so we get 24 in the factorial variable and after that the counter variables value will be decremented by 1 again and this time it will contain 1 and this condition will fail because counter variable is containing 1 which is not greater than or equal to 2 so we will come out of this for loop and once we come out of this for loop in this factorial variable we have the value of the factorial so we will display that to the screen now here we have uh, written the program the next thing that we do is we will run this enter the number i'm going to enter 4 it says 4 factorial equal to 24 now one thing that we have to keep in mind in here is this factorial value become a huge number you know if we start entering uh, larger numbers for example if you enter 100 then this factorial value will be humongous so this data types that we have used in here like int or long you know they can't really hold that much value so we need to write this program so we need to address this uh, issue in another way and uh, i will make a video where i will teach you guys how you can write a java program to find the factorial of a large number and uh, this is for the beginners to understand how to write the program to find the factorial so this is it guys thank you for watching uh, if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video